do rag wisdom here folks y2k 17.08.30 we should make a museum a national museum dedicated to the horrors of slavery to be a memoriam to be a, a place where people can go and really get an understanding of what this system was and did to millions of people. And you can take those statues all over the South, don't destroy them, don't melt them, you put them in the museum, this museum of the horrors of slavery. And I mean, we should go into this place. The first thing you should do when you go in there is you get, you're getting sold. I mean, to whomever, a slave owning company who's now gonna ship you to the new world to be a slave. You're going by ship in the slave hole of a ship. And you go on into the museum and you go and see more aspects of this institution that we allowed in this country and the statues of Columbus Jefferson Grant all of these white guys don't move them you know keep them where they are but add some relevant history that hasn't been revised let us all realize and understand that this country that we live in, that we are enjoying now, for now, I mean, now that we have this president, this creep in, we're not enjoying it. Except for those who like his reality show, they're probably having orgasms right now. But for, the, for most of us, for the majority of us, who know what the history of this country is all about. It was founded by white Europeans who were coming here to plunder, to pillage, to rape, to pass their diseases to these native peoples. And don't get me wrong, I don't believe in the quote unquote noble savage. I don't believe in that crap. That's just that's that's another bit of white racist crap. Human beings have been killing each other, have been exploiting each other, misrepresenting each other for all the the the, the decades, for the millennia that we've been on this planet. Alright? For as long as we've been on this planet, we've basically been fucking each other up in one way or another. While not recognizing that we're all mortal, delicate little porcelain figures that if they dropped us, we'd be like uh, broken in 50 pieces. Look at all these, these, these baseball players and football players who get all kinds of injuries. This is a delicate thing that we're in. And it works good. It works its best when everything is in gear. Meaning the physical, the mental, the moral, the ethical. Where everything is in gear. So you take these statues, you put them in this new museum of the horrors of slavery and you keep the Columbus and all the, all the people that, that we credit for helping to found our country. Keep them out with the additional commentary for tourists to see. And a recognition that our country was founded under the pretense of the Bible, manifest destiny, imperialism. And you can't erase that. The people that came over here, who explored and invaded, all right, who we credit with giving us what we have today, 
were, in the most part, racist, bigoted, religious extremists. Yes, they were fleeing, a lot of them were fleeing one form of religious extremism just to replace it with their own. So between the museum that we dedicate to the horrors and that people should see the horrors of slavery and the extra commentary on the statues, then we start having a thinking nation because here we are and we have this nation the white Europeans gave us this nation that we have today but now the people of color are coming back and the people of color outnumber the, the, the white Europeans that they're coming back and they're learning our ways White European civilization invaded the New World the same way we depicted speculative fiction film where we depict an invasion by extraterrestrials on our planet. Yes, we depict that because we understand that that's that symbolizes what it's all about in the real world the way we've invaded. We could talk about all kinds of things that stem from this, but that would get off the topic. We just had a creep and his creep, creepident wife with her flotus at, and my brother mentioned, yeah, float us, it's float us, but it really means float us. I mean, the people of Texas might as well be saying, we float down here, you know, from uh, the, from that stupid novel, It. We float down here. Yeah, they're floating us. These creeps, these traitors. She wears her high heels. He wears his, his new hat he wants everybody to see. What great crowds we're having here. And people are drowning. And people are drowning. Yes, we gotta wake this country up. Having a museum dedicated to the horrors, depicting the horrors of slavery and all the villains in, in, in charge and having that, and that's only a beginning. Because we have to really, really explore our Constitution, explore our, our Declaration of Independence, really delve into the deepest psychological understanding of it, and we're going to come to this. There are some very, very bad white people out there who happen to help give us this country that we have today. We have to hold them to account. We have to help those they invaded and abused and rise and raise this country up to where it's supposed to be because in the end, when you tear that thing apart and you look deep down, you see they were ashamed of what they did deep, 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 deep down, not even realizing it. In envisioning a country where at that time it was all men were created equal, but really it's up to us to make sure that everyone is treated equally with respect and dignity. All people are created equally. All human beings and all species on this planet deserve respect, compassion, and not this showmanship we saw in the so-called creepidence visit to the victims of this hurricane, Harvey.
great crowds here. Let's get that museum open. Now!